What's going on y'all, it's Josh here. And real quick, before you jump into this video, I wanted to let y'all know that this video is an older video. It's a few months back. It was before we got our new stabilizer. Um, if you guys recall, the first few, well, the first month of us putting videos out was pretty, some of the videos were a little wobbly. It wasn't crazy, but it was uh, enough to bug me and definitely bug some of y'all. And trust me, I got the, uh, got the messages. So, I was very hesitant to put this video out, but it's in a hidden cemetery in the middle of a parking lot. Great responses, and uh, it just has a neat history to it, neat historical story. So we're gonna show you all that. And again, I apologize if it's a little wobbly, but uh, it was kind of prior to what we got now. So I just hope y'all enjoy it. And um, yeah, I didn't want it to go to waste. It's just a lot of hard work and editing and, and time put into getting this video right so didn't want to throw it away and decide to go ahead and uh release it so hope you all enjoy like share subscribe if you like this type of content and i thank you guys so much for all the positive support and love that you give us every you know, day. we've been looking and looking everywhere for this place i've driven to several shopping centers today they said it was in the middle of a shopping center and i said what in the middle of a shopping center there's no way they said, yeah, it's across from a books a million and a hobby lobby. And I'm like, what? So I get online, do, 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 do my little punching in the Google box there. And uh, sure enough, there's a cemetery in the middle of a shopping center right across from a hobby lobby. I didn't believe it, but I do now. So before we uh, come inside and look at this beautiful place, Kelsey's going to give us a little history on this. So today we are at the Burks Family Cemetery. Mm -hmm. um, they originally owned a farm uh, plantation in the mid 1800s. Um, their land stretched from the Brooking Ridge Dutchman area to Avondale, which if y'all are from the local area, you'd know what that means. But essentially it's what, about six to eight miles either direction. So the original owners was James, his wife Matilda, and then they had three sons. They were a very wealthy family. Um, so you can tell by their headstones um, that they you know, were more prominent uh, here in the area. We did learn that over the years, um, the land did stay in the family. Um, and then in the later years, it did change several hands. And up until the 1980s, it was um, a working farm. And then at that point, the land was finally sold off and eventually became what we see today. So we made the drive, we came up here. We heard about this place. We heard it was in a shopping center in Louisville. As you can see, they weren't lying. There's a McDonald's right there. Hobby Lobby, books a million, just surrounded. And they just rest right in there in the bushes, basically. Just looks like bushes. But well, we heard it was pretty neat, so we thought we'd drive up to Louisville and check it out. All right, look at this place. Wow, take a look, y'all. I'm paying out here. Y'all, this is in the middle of a shopping center. In the middle, I'll show y'all the shopping center in a second, but it took forever to find this place, by the way. Wow. Yeah, I just want to show you these beautiful headstones, markings. Somebody came by and put some flowers on there. They're not real flowers, so they won't die. Actually, that one looks real. No. Look at these. This is Charles, son of James. How are you, sir? Just coming by to see how you're resting. Look at that. This is amazing. There's some history with this, y'all. This is a hidden cemetery, they call it, and it's literally in a shopping center. There's Hobby Lobby and TJ Maxx and restaurants and all kinds of stuff around here, y'all. Wow, look at this. Look at this. Beautiful little baby here. Oh. And y'all fooled me with that. I thought that's the best darn, what is that, a uh, sunflower I've ever seen. Look, there's a feather stuck in the ground. I'll be darn. Look at that, y'all. Feather. 
we don't mean any ill intent. We just come in peace. I'm guessing this is another, some sort of marking. And we got Samuel over here. So we got Charles, son of James and Matilda. I always love that name, Matilda. We have Samuel. This is a little puppy I'll show you closer. Samuel, son of James and Matilda. Died April 7th, 1851 in the in his 20th year. So he's a young fella. God bless you, buddy. So we got Matilda, wife of James Burke. So Miss Matilda, Miss Burke, Mrs. Burke, age 36. Passed June 16th, 1853. Her, uh, the flower garland mm -hmm. is beautiful. Yeah, it on is. Her it really is. And I, and I want to show you this one here. I'm guessing this will be head of the family here. I'm guessing this will be Mr. James. Can't really see though. Huh? Sir, beautiful place. I see James right here. James Samuel. Oh, so this was up, probably this upright. This was up there, yeah. Fell a long time ago. Mm -hmm. The ground's kind of growing around it, actually. Yeah. All right, Burke's family. This is Josh and Kelsey, and Hello. just wanted to come speak to you. Maybe you haven't talked to somebody, anybody in a long time. Uh, we admire your resting place here on your what was a lot of land. Um. We come in peace and grace and protection and faith. And really, we just want you to know your spirit is just as important as us and as ours. And uh, we, we care. Just come to talk to some folks that maybe hadn't talked to anybody in a while. So looks like you've been here a long time, 1800s. This was your land. This was your property. So I want to ask you some questions about that, if you don't mind. And uh, if you don't want to speak to us, we understand. You can let us know. But... Hopefully you'll, you you feel comfortable and want to answer a few questions. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into it here. Before I jump into the questions, I just want to make sure that we have permission from from you and, and, and this family to ask a few questions. Again, we're respectful. We come in peace and grace. We mean no ill intent. And uh, we're very respectful. So do we have permission to speak? I will hit this button and you can answer. <coughs> Do we have permission to speak with you? Yes. Said yeah, I heard yeah. Did I hear yes? Burke family, how are you resting? Fatigued? How are you resting here? Nice. Do I have permission to ask you a few questions right now? Ask. All right. I'm going to turn it off. I will ask you a question. I'll turn it off, ask you a question, and I'll turn it back on, and I'll be able to hear your response. Now, we might have to go back and listen to your responses, but we will hear them. Before we get to our question, I'd like to know who we are speaking with. So could you tell me who we're speaking with directly to? Matilda, I just heard that. I heard mom too a while ago. Miss um, Matilda is um, married to Mr. James Burke, so she is the um, matriarch. 
matriarch, Miss Matilda. I just love that name, Matilda. It's a beautiful name. Beautiful name. Well, Miss Matilda, um, I have a question for you. We're going to ask you a couple questions. I think we're going to ask three questions. We might get more. I, you know, I ain't going to put a limit on it. I'm just going to ask you a few questions. Whatever comes to mind, whatever you're comfortable with, and we'll roll with it. It is getting a little chilly out here. Um, so that goes into one of my questions. Can you feel the temperature while you're resting? So do you know the temperature? Can you feel a temperature change? Uh, they say it might sleep here soon, so I don't know. Will that affect you? Will you be able to feel it? So can you feel the temperature change? That's one of my questions. So I'm going to hit this button here and see what you got to say. Mary Ellen. Can you feel the temperature changes? Yes. Heard yes. Help. Who asked for help? Say Shauna? Sam. Are you... Sam. Sam, did you ask us for help? Help me. Sam, how can we help you today? She's sad. I heard peace and sad. Mary Ellen, are you able to help Sam? Right now. I wanted to turn that off real quick just to, to let them uh, work that out. Let her help Sam. We're going to turn it right back on, but I didn't want to tell you why I'm just sitting here quiet. Why we're not saying nothing, and that's because we're trying to help uh, Sam. So he said he needed peace. He was scared. You guys probably heard that. And, uh, hey, Mary Ellen's on the job. God bless you, Mary Ellen. Wow. I'm so glad she's with us for sure. I know. She so, brings so much peace. So I didn't want to ask in the middle of it that she's helping. So one of you guys actually wrote in and said, hey, make sure you give them time to help. So I want to make note of that and, uh, you know, keep that in mind. So that's what we're doing. Mary Ellen, were you able to help Sam? Mary Ellen, were you able to help Sam? Join the two. All right. All right, Sam, you feel better now? Were you able to find peace, Sam? I'm cold. All right. Well, we're going to get on with our questions. Is that okay? Sure. All right. I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to ask you a question and then you'll be able to hear, I'll be able to hear the response when I turn it back on. All right, my question is, because this was a plantation at one time, it was your plantation, you guys had animals. Is it, what type of animals did you have on your plantation? Did you have cows, pigs, horses, chickens? Uh, what kind of animals did y'all have? Well, this was your property. So that's my question, and let's see what you got to say. <laughs> I 
What type of animals did you have? Well, I heard chickens. Is so along with the animals that you had, did you also have a fox? I'm going to ask you another question. It's hard to hear you out here. Cars driving by. We are in a shopping center. So, um, my question is, how many acres did you own? How big was this? So, how many acres did you have on your plantation? That's my question, and I'm going to hit the button, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> Could you repeat that, sir? It's an interesting mix. All right, I'm going to hit this button and pause it, and I'm going to ask you another question, okay? And we'll have to go back and listen to those. Walter. Okay, I just heard Walter. How are you, Walter? different answers about how much land there mm -hmm. was because uh, the Burks family that we're speaking with is multi-generational and as um, the land probably went through the generations the size of the land would change so yeah. depending on who we're speaking with would be how much land they had at that time and this was also a cattle farm or an active like like livestock farm in the 80s so I know that for a fact before they sold it I saw that, that yeah it was so maybe who knows somebody from that family could have passed away mm -hmm. and just be buried out here unfortunately if this was a plantation it's kentucky so there might have been enslaved people out here yes so there could be people buried all over this parking lot and they have no mm -hmm. idea all right kelsey has a question for you do you get a lot of visitors you are in a unique uh resting place so I'm just curious if you get a lot of people stopping by to say hello. All right. So do you get a lot of visitors here? Uh -oh. Let's see. All right, and we're going to go back and listen to your responses. College. 
Well, you have a beautiful resting area here, so I can see why you get visitors. Spectacular. Do you enjoy getting all the visitors? Yes, sir. There you go. All right. Well, Kelsey has one more last question. So I'm glad we didn't put a number on the questions that we we're going to ask because you're way past three. We're way past three. And it's, it's, it's kind of exciting to be in this beautiful resting place and, and not just have fun and want to know about it and about the people that, that owned it. So, uh, yeah. So thank you for sharing those. Kelsey has one, one final question. I'm just curious with the location of where we are, what is the most interesting thing you've seen, uh, in this area oh. since there's so much activity around us? Man, this is Louisville. There's no telling. <laughs> All right, so what's the most, what was it? Interesting. Interesting thing you've seen while, while resting here in this parking lot. All right. I'm very curious the answer to this question. I know, I can't wait to go back and listen. I feel like we're getting different family members answering. <laughs> Can you tell us, I'm sorry, one last question. I'm just curious. Can you tell us how many people are buried on this property? Mm -hmm. Eight, I heard it again. Observing. I'm curious if somebody's standing on the left side of me. If you are, you're okay. I'm just, I'm curious. Is there somebody on the left side of me right now that I can't see? I might be wrong. It could be the wind, but I felt like somebody was beside me. I don't think I thought I heard no, so it's probably probably just the wind. If so, it was okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for letting us come talk to you. Are we able to come back and see you and talk again sometime? All right. Well, hopefully those are some good answers. Then. I heard doorway. All righty. Well, bless you and rest easy, okay? 
A pledge. Alrighty, have a good resting evening. You too. Friends of hers. Alright, bye bye. Time to lock up. Time to shut the gate. And let the spirits rest.